everyone. This is Claudia with Ceramica Paint Studio in Stoneham. I hope everyone is well. We get a lot of questions about potter's glazes. And what potter's glazes is a spe uh, specialty glaze um, that has a lot of crystals in it. So because it has a lot of glass in it, when it melts in the kiln, it creates these really cool shades. Uh, as you can see here, this one particular is called a mermaid's tail. Um, there's an, here's another sample. This has three different glazes. You can see how it moves around, and this is one of the characteristics of the glazes. So because uh, people seem to love the potter's glazes, we're doing a special project. It will be on the website. You can order it to paint at home, and it will come with all the supplies, or you can come into the studio and paint it in the studio. We are open. Check out our website for the schedule. So here we go, let's uh, get working on this cape mug, okay? Always the first thing that you wanna do with the pottery is get either paper towels or a sponge, get it a little damp, and you just wanna clean out all the dust that may be on the mug or whatever piece of pottery you're making. Um, you just wanna make sure it's all clean and doesn't have any dust, um, otherwise you will be able to see it when you're painting. The first step to this project is to paint the entire mug with this black glaze and it is called um, surface coat. It's a surface coat and it's called um, black top. So we're going to cover the whole mug in black three times. So this is my third coat. Now remember, the first coat is going to suck a lot of paint and it's gonna dry really, really quickly. Let it dry completely before you move on to the second coat. The second coat is not going to suck as much paint and it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. Again, let it dry completely before you do this third coat. And finally, the, the third coat is not gonna suck much paint at all. I mean, you're pretty much just trying to make sure that you have everything covered. And it's gonna dry the, the longest. So you just eat it, sit, let it sit, let it dry completely. You might, if, you wanna, if you're in a rush and you have a hair dryer, you want, might wanna hit it with a hair dryer. That's a little trick. Um, otherwise, you just hang around, make sure it's completely dry before you move on to the, to the second and third coat. I am ready for our other colors, so I'm just gonna let this dry completely. All right, so we are ready for our next color, which is um, prairie gold. This is what it looks like. It's gonna look very, very different once it's fire. And we're not gonna do it all the way. We're gonna do two coats. And as you can see, I can handle my mug because it's completely dry. You wanna put it nice and thick and you can get creative about the shape at the bottom um, and how it's going to look. Okay, so I'm just going to not have it completely even. I kind of like that look. I'm going to go all the way around. And you want to make sure your brush, it kind of slides with the paint, with the glaze. Um, you don't want it to be stuck because that means that you don't have enough glaze on your brush. Make sure you get your handle. And again, make sure that you have plenty of glaze on that brush. This is what it's looking like. This is one coat because you ha already have glaze on underneath. It's going to take a little while to dry. It's not going to be as quickly as when you first put that first coat of glaze. So this is, I like, um, I like how it's not, it's not straight at the bottom. I really like that. It's very organic looking. So um, I, I'm also going to do the, the lid of the uh, mug and I'm going to go in a little bit not a lot 
just a little bit. And this is again one coat. We are going to do two coats of this. Let it dry completely before moving on to the other to the other coats. And I just realized I touched it by mistake. Don't worry about it. Just do a little touch up. And if you get this paint anywhere, it's water soluble, so you don't have to worry about. It. It's really really easy cleanup. So don't worry about it if you get it on your clothes or you get it on the table. Really, really easy. Okay, letting it dry completely. And then we're gonna go over the same place and paint a second coat. I have now done my second coat of the second place and again it's getting really really thick so it's going to take a little while to dry it needs to be completely dry before we move to our last coat um, our last glaze which is um, pottery patina okay so just uh, again be patient let it dry if you're in a rush put some heat to it um, but it's better if you just let it dry naturally okay so just be patient. All right, this is our last step. We are going to paint, um, it's called uh, patina uh, displays, it's called patina. And we're gonna do two coats of this and this is the last two coats we're gonna do on this mug. Again, it's going to take a while to dry because we now have three of the black, two, of uh, the following one, the golden one, and now two more of the patina. And we are going to follow the same design that we did on the previous coat. So you're just gonna go in, make sure you have plenty of glaze on your brush, and you're just going to follow the previous design you did. And if you get, if you go over it, you know, if you get it in the black, don't worry about it. This is going to be a very organic, um, a very organic design. So don't worry about it. Beautiful regardless. This, this potter's glazes are gorgeous. So there's really no way you can go wrong. So I'm just going to go in, do my one coat, let it dry. Again, plenty of glaze on your brush, let it dry do a second coat and then we'll be done. So I'm gonna get to it. All right, we have just finished doing two more coats of the patina on top of the golden. So it has, it's taken quite a while to dry. Uh, you have to realize we have a lot of paint in here. We have three coats of the black, we have three coats of the gold, and then we finally have two coats of the patina. And I've noticed when I was putting the paint down, you really need to almost put it down instead of brushing it, because it needs to really adhere. So just be patient, make sure everything is covered, make sure you do two solid coats, um, make sure there's the coats are dry in between, that's really important, otherwise you're gonna drag the paint away, which is not what you wanna do. Um, and it's ready. I'm just gonna let it dry. We actually have to let it dry for 24 hours before we put it in the kiln. So right now I'm just gonna put it away, not think about it till tomorrow. We're gonna glaze, we're gonna fire it and it's just going to be amazing. Um, can't wait to show you guys what this is like. So um, stay tuned. We're gonna put this in um, the kiln tomorrow. Thanks. Hello everyone, this is the final product. This is after the mug has been fired. You can see how beautiful it looks. So this project will be on the website along with all the supplies that you need or you can come into the studio to paint. Come on in.